Alright, what is up guys? It is Capital Coasters here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'll be bringing you guys my second ever q and I thought it's been a while since I've done an, uh, done one. My first one was back in May, and that was also my most recent one, of course. Um, so I thought it was time I did another one. Um, so, I was actually supposed to do this yesterday, but I had a thing for school, so... Uh, sorry about that, but today I'm finally coming out with my second ever Q&A, so let's just get right into it. So, 24-7 Roller Coasters asks a few questions. Uh, so first off, will you ever do the group live streams again? I'm not really sure about that. Um, Google did remove the Hangouts live stream, so I can't do them through there, which is how I've been doing them. Um, I could do, like, regular YouTube live streams and just do, like, Discord calls, and I might do some more of those, uh, like, for when I hit 200 subscribers, um, like, a 200 sub celebration stream, uh, but, um, probably won't do a lot of those, and I do want to learn how to do OBS eventually, um, so I can, like, record games and whatnot, but I'm not sure when I'll, uh, get around to that, um, but, I don't know if the group live streams will come back, though. Um, do I have any pets? No. But I used to have a dog. Um, he died about five years ago, just due to age. Um, his name was Inky. I forgot what breed, um, but I really, really liked him. It's pretty sad when he died. Um, biggest goal for my channel. Um, I don't really have any goals right now. Uh, I think my next like really big milestone would be 500 subscribers. I'd like to hit that by the end of the year. Um... That would be awesome, and I'm definitely reaching for 200 right now, which I'm getting really close to. Um, so probably to get to 500 subs, but mostly I'm just kind of having fun with this. And it's a way to connect to people um, and just talk about roller coasters. Have I watched any roller coaster documentaries? I think I have watched some like old construction documentaries um, uh, and stuff. Like I watched one about Kinda Ka. And then I watched, um, there was this thing from 2008, I think, called, like, Extreme Rides something, and I watched a couple other, I think, like, Extreme Rides documentaries, one from 2003 and another from 2000. Um, um, I'm not sure if I watched any newer ones, I think so, but I don't really remember, but I have watched a couple. Um, so X Coasters Forever asks, when are you going back to Cedar Point? Hopefully, I can get back there next year if I'm able to drive o up there. Um, because uh, I'm thinking of doing a pretty big trip with Kyle, aka Coaster Demon, where we're going to do like the Midwest and some like Northeast parks and also hit up like Kings Island, Kentucky Kingdom, and maybe Holiday World. Um, and like Hershey Park and Great Adventure and Dorney and stuff. If not, then probably a couple years down the road, like 2023 or 2024. I'm not really sure, but hopefully um, hopefully next year I'll be able to get back to Cedar Point um, in the summer. Um, so, Coaster Dog asks, when am I visiting Six Flags St. Louis? I'm not really sure. I'm planning on doing a Missouri trip eventually, but I'm not totally sure. Um, uh, probably... A couple years, um, maybe like four or five years, probably I'll be in college by that time, but I am planning on doing Missouri, like Six Flags St. Louis, Worlds of Fun, and um, uh, Silver Dollar City at some point, so probably a few years from now. So don't worry, I'll get out there eventually. So X Coasters Forever actually asks a couple more questions. Um, when do I plan on going to Six Flags Magic Mountain? Uh, again, probably a couple years, three or four years. I'm not really sure. It's really far away. I'd have to fly there. Um, so probably at least like four or five years. Um, so probably like 2023 or something. Or 2024. But hopefully sooner. But I'm not really sure. Probably around then. Um, if I could add one element to Steel Vengeance, what would that be? Um, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe like some inversion that it doesn't have um maybe something kind of like a step up under flip like in the second half like inside the structure would be really cool but i'm not really sure what else um it already has quite a bit of elements i think 
they did like a long sustained wave turn that'd be cool but um i do like the kind of quicker wave turn it has in the second half so probably some type of inversion it doesn't have but i'm not really sure um so theme park magic asks if i could reimagine any roller coaster which one would it be um i'm not really sure um by reimagine, I guess you mean uh, just like add stuff to it. Um, so, uh, t I don't know. There's a lot of coasters out there. Um, I'm I'm not really sure with that question. Maybe like, uh, can't really think of any old coasters. I don't know. Maybe Magnum XL 200. They could do something to make it, I guess, feel a little bit more updated. Um, and like add some effects and stuff uh but i'm not really sure maybe they could try to add new trains or something but honestly i like it how it is but i guess that um maybe make it feel a little bit more modern people would probably like it a bit more maybe magnum xl 200 but i'm not really sure it's kind of a weird question um alpagais fan 08 asks how are stand-up coasters compared to folds coasters i definitely like stand-ups more uh, I think standing up makes the ride a lot more intense. And I don't know. It just makes it more forceful because you really feel the forces on your feet more, especially like on Green Lantern. Um, I just like them more because they feel more intense and they're more of a unique experience. While I've ridden a lot of Flores Coasters, so they feel, I don't know, just less unique. They're more typical. Um, so stand-up coasters are just generally more intense. But you can do more with a floorless coaster, so I guess that is an advantage to them. Like, you can't really do a cobra on a stand-up coaster. At least they haven't tried. But uh, I, I definitely like stand-ups more than floorless is kind of just because they're more intense and it's more of a unique experience. Um, and I definitely don't really like the stand-up conversions. I just I prefer a ride to be a stand-up to a floorless. Um, Ice Coasters Forever asks some more questions. Uh, if you could change an element on Skyrush and I-35, which element would you change? Um, I'm not really sure. The, uh, I guess Skyrush, maybe the ending is a little bit boring. I wish I had a bit more speed, but I don't really know how I would change that. Maybe make the ending a little bit more interesting. Uh, and then with I-305, um, I guess maybe they could add some more variety. Um like that final uh bank turn could be like a bit steeper make it more like a stangle dive um i think that would be really cool so i guess that um uh he also asks what elements would you replace him with i just uh answered that um so he also asks if you had to choose one part to go f to for the rest of your life life what would it be and why i'm not really sure with this one um uh, I guess a lot of people would say Cedar Point right off the bat, although I'm not sure. I feel like it would kind of ruin the magic, but, like, eh, I'm not totally sure. That's kind of a hard question. Maybe, I guess it would be a bigger park. I don't want it to be, like, King's Dominion or something kind of a little bit more boring than, like, Cedar Point and Magic Mountain. Um, but, uh... I don't know. That's a hard question. I guess I would say Cedar Point just because it is a lot of fun. But, like, I don't know. I would definitely, if I had the choice, I would go to multiple parks. But if I had to answer this question, probably Cedar Point or maybe, like, Magic Mountain. Um, so, the final question uh, asked by Coaster Demon is, Why do I prefer Skyrush over Stormrunner? Stormrunner is so much better. I just prefer it because it has... Uh, just more to it. I think it's just more intense. The airtime. It has more airtime. It's stronger airtime. It has crazier laterals. And um, the drop is just amazing. I love the restraints. It's just a longer ride. It has more intense bank turns. More airtime moments. The laterals are like just as good. Like on that Stangle Dive and the Twisted Hill. Um, it's just more of an elite coaster. You know, I usually prefer like a hyper coaster like this to a launch coaster. Just because it does more. I do think it's just more intense. Uh, I know you don't like Skyrush because of restraints, but I don't mind them. So, like, I guess those are why I definitely prefer Skyrush. Um, so, those are all the questions. Uh, thank you all for, um, thank you, those of you who asked questions. I didn't get a ton, not as much as 
uh, last time, but still thank you for asking the questions. I hope I was able to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, and thank you guys for watching this. Um, I'm planning on doing probably one of these more often, like once maybe every three or four months. Um, so I'll probably do another one like during the summer, like maybe in like July. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching my second ever Q&A. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.